<laughs> that's the biggest challenge that I've had with paid newsletters or what content you put behind a paywall. Because if you write something incredible, you're like, this is worth paying for. But then you're like, I need that piece of content to go attract new subscribers and it should be free because this could actually pick up another 500 or another thousand subscribers. And so you're always in this tension between the best work that I put out, where should it go? The conclusion that I came to is I need to create more of my best work. What do you deliver to people in the paid community that isn't for the newsletter? At first I launched with just the community features. So they have access to an online forum where they can talk about the articles. They have have access to weekly Zoom meetups all together when we pick a topic that's been covered in the newsletter and we actually talk about it. 80% of it is the community in and in, in of itself. Recently, I've started adding more exclusive content and the way I do it is that I make them PDF reports about something that I know the community is interested about. There would be no point in just putting it on my website. So I optimize the page itself where people can download it for SEO. I tweet about it so people know that this is available but then only members of the community can download the full thing that's actually been really helpful because first it's been really good as an acquisition channel some people are like i don't have time for another community but i want to read this report so i'm just going to download this and the current members of the community they're super happy because i never told them that they would be getting this it's like just a surprise saying hey you're a member thank you for being here here's some extra content for you it makes them want to stay for longer because we're getting extra content. 